Hi guys, it's the Power BI Guy and today I'm going to show you how to highlight metrics and conditions in your visuals. Now this is a great way to flag up certain data points for your users so that they can look into information or highlight when a certain criteria has been met for example. So let's let take a look at two examples and see why this is so powerful. So over here we have our total sales by month. Very simply, what we've done is we've highlighted where the sales have dropped below 300,000. So your user doesn't actually have to look at the data points, they can see which months didn't meet our criteria. Now this is a very simple example. Over here, this is a lot more interesting and a lot more powerful in what it's doing. We have our total sales by our categories. What we've done is we've highlighted based on another measure where the products have actually made a loss. So we have two layers, we have our total sales and then we have a flag that is saying, if the product's made a loss, highlight that as red. And this is dynamic. So if I selected West, we can see machines made a loss. So we can see our total sales. But then we've got an extra layer to this visual where we said, these products are a loss and your user can immediately actually look into this information and it flags it for them. So if I right click this visual and then drill through into that bar, we can see machines, uh, machines made a loss in April and then they can see which products actually made a loss. So it's very powerful conditional formatting in visuals because it makes your end user's job a lot easier when you're highlighting the metrics that they need to look into and you're guiding them in that sense because that will be based on business requirements. So without further ado, let me show you how you actually create this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create my visual. So let me bring in subcategory and then total sales. Now the first thing that we need to do is actually get the color codes for our conditions. So I'm going to say where the total sales drops below 150,000, I want that to be red. So for example, what we need to do is go to format, select the visual, go to format, columns, and then what we want to do is select the first color. So if it's a, a below 150,000, red, and then we're going to go to more colors and then get this color code. We're going to copy this and then note this down somewhere. So that's our first conditions color. If it's above 150,000, we want this to be uh, gray. So we don't really want to look into this. So what we're going to do is get that color code and I'm going to save this. And let me replace it with this color code here. Perfect. So now we have our two color codes as we have two conditions. Um, what we're going to do now is actually create the measure that contains this. So we're going to create a new measure. So create a new measure and we're going to call this whatever you want. So I'm going to call this total sales less than 150. Okay. We're going to write an if statement or you could use switch. If you have multiple conditions, use switch. But for now we have two. So we're going to write if the total sales. So we're looking at the total sales in this. So right now this is total sales. If the total sales is less than or equals to 150,000, we want this to be, so insert in quotation marks, get your first color. So this is with the conditions met. So if the sales is less than 150,000, we want that to be red. And then our second color, if it's not that condition, it's not been met, we want it to be gray. And if we enter that, nothing's going to happen. We need to actually apply this to our visual. So what we're going to do is select the visual, go to format, go to columns, and then click the FX button. This is the conditional formatting. And now we can actually apply that condition we just created. So we're going to go to format style, field value. And if we search that measure we just created, so if I go to product, 100, oh no, I selected the wrong one. If I select 150K, that measure we just created and apply that, we can now see that this has been applied to our visual, but we're not done here. Our users won't know what the colors are. And there's two ways we can do this. We can actually, we can create a new column where we say if greater than equals uh, red and actually create a new calculated column for that. But what we're going to do is much easier and it stores less data. So we're going to create a new table just call it a legend table. So we're going to go to home, enter data to create this legend. We're going to call this format table. And now we're going to write in our conditions. So I'm going to call this uh, total sales in the column header name. Don't worry, we can change this later. And these are this is actually what's going to show in your legend. So less, less than 150K above 150k for example let's keep this very simple 
and then if I load this in, we now have that in our in our data model, but we now actually need to bring this into a legend. So we're going to create a pie chart. In that new column, we're going to drag this into legend. Right now, there's nothing. nothing's going to appear. We need to select our pie chart, go to format, and enable legend. And let's just do some formatting. So we're going to turn off the title. Let's go to effects to turn the background, uh, let's turn background on, and then transparency zero. And if we go to legend, we need to put that bottom center, which is very important. And then we need to change the colors. So less than 150K, we want that to be red and above gray. And now if we make that smaller, we can apply that here. We could put that there, or we could put that at the bottom. It's really up to you. So now that we know how to create a conditional formatting measure and apply it, it's very important to know that we don't have to use the same values in our actual visual itself. So over here, we've got our total cells and our condition is if the total cells are less, but we can use a completely different condition or a different measure altogether. So let's take a look. Over here, I've got my total cells. Instead of highlighting when the total cells have dropped, I've worked out the profit percentage in a different uh, measure. And in that conditional formatting, we've said if the profit percentage is less than zero, make that red, otherwise orange. And that's a, another layer to our visual where instead of highlighting just the total sales, it's more important to actually look for us in this case, which products are not doing too well. And we've highlighted that. So it's worth noting, use additional measures. You don't have to, but think about your business context and what you want to highlight to your users. And instead of having separate visuals, think about adding layers to your visual by conditional formatting. Over here, I've had, I have multiple conditions. So we can do that by using a switch statement where we write multiple conditions. So switch true, if, so this is an if statement essentially, if orders less than 100, make that red. If orders is less than 1000, make that orange. If orders is greater than 1000, make that uh, green. So think about the context, then create your legend and apply that to your visuals to add additional context. You don't have to use the same value. This can be any context you want to highlight in your visual by adding that an extra layer. So it's the Power BI guy and I'm checking out and I hope this video helps.